surgery. Michelle, his fill-in, is off as well. So today, I am joined by the one and only Patty. Uh -huh. Look at you. Look Looking at this. Good. A sensible day look yes. for television. Yes, thank you for keeping it so understood. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if you saw on, on Facebook this video, of, uh, but someone sent me this a few months ago, and I thought, how funny is this? It's two poodles on a swing. Their names are Max and Ruby, and of course, this went totally viral. Oh, look at them. Oh. And people were saying, oh, could it really be two dogs? And I'm thinking, yes, as, as an owner of two golden doodles, I could almost see myself doing this with my dogs. I don't think I could ever fit Brian in there. I don't think they, a little chubby I, little terrier. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Brian would appreciate it. He would not like that. Freebie and Nigel wouldn't appreciate it either. <laughs> but today, we have one of those poodles with us right here on daytime. Oh, that's great. Yes. That's great. Super dog Max and his dad... Carl Gordon. Such a pleasure to have you here. My gosh, Max in the flesh. Can you believe this? I know. Look at this. We have a star in our midst. <laughs> How many followers have have come to the website now from for Max and his sister Ruby? Over 150 million. Wow. Okay. From all over the world. How did this all start, Carl? This started out back on 2011, doing therapy work, visiting hospitals, uh, elderly homes, nursing homes. Uh, just visiting patients to bring a little cheer into their lives, making them a little happier. Uh, it was actually Panache Magazine, Nina Stanley, uh -huh. who actually discovered him and published him first. And uh, she's been a follower and uh, strong, strong guidance. And you notice right there it said, is he real? I'm sure you get that every day. I get that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually the number one question we get. I have an information business card uh -huh. on the back of it. Is it real? That's the number one wow. thing we get. I, Look at that. Yeah, how do you do it, though? That's the thing. I, think, I, I, I Sometimes people will go, well, that looks very uncomfortable. That can't be something that the dog enjoys. It's got to be hurting the dog, Carl. Well, as you can see right here on the back, there's a cushion uh -huh. that he sits on. So, and also in the morning, around three to five times a day, he gets a, a massage mm -hmm. that causes him to stretch his legs out. So when he's not, when he's like, like the way to describe it is when you get out of the morning, you stretch. Uh -huh, you feel sure. like, uh, that's the same feeling he gets when I massage his legs. Oh, he Carl, just stretches out and he feels good. And you've been training him for how long now? Since he was very young. Seven to be, weeks old. To be able to do something like that. Since seven weeks old. My gosh. How old is he now? He's going on seven years old. Oh. <laughs> and Ruby's following in Max's footsteps? She's going on eight months old. Now there's, uh, Max gets around, right? Is that at the Rays game? That's at the Rays game. This past uh, couple weeks ago. Doing some groundskeeping? That he was. Very good. Now he's just another that fan. Was just two nights ago. Enjoying the game. Did he have a hot dog? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he enjoyed the fans. That's, <laughs> That's wonderful. And there, and now, what's he doing here? He's got the cat in the hat hat on. Is this at a school where he's helping them read? Yes. Or is he reading to the kids? He, he actually is part of a reading therapy program, help, helping children to read. Uh, it helps them to come out of their shell. Uh, he doesn't judge them, doesn't make them read out loud, and lets them read at their own pace. So it helps them. For a child that's shy, timid, uh, reserved, it lets them, again, read out loud, which is very important nowadays in child's development. Rides a Harley or rides a motorcycle? Look at that. No, but is there anything Max can't do? Drive a car legally. Yeah. yeah, well, that'll come. That'll come. Yeah. One of these days, they're going to have those self-driving cars, and you can, if you see Max in the, in the driver's seat, I'm don't be alarmed. Be, yeah, I won't be nervous. I'll just wave. Actually, <laughs> I, would, I think he'd probably be better than some of the people I saw this morning on the way here. Yeah, you are being very good. Now, Carl, you, the whole reason you came up with this website and you have these pictures is because when you bring Max to a school or something, the kids would cry when he'd have to leave. And now, what kind of feedback are you getting from people who are looking at Max's pictures every single day? A lot of good feedback, not only locally, but nationwide, all over the world. People that uh, need a good cheer in the morning, uh, they consider it like a cup of coffee. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got patients all over the place to say, wait, they first wake up, they go to the computer, see what new photos up there, it gets a smile, it brings a little cheer into their lives. So uh, it worked out better than I expected. But you don't recommend people try to do this with their dog? Definitely do not, no. Unless okay, you're, well, uh, that was my idea to get more likes <laughs> on Instagram. I was going to have a dog act. <laughs> so Jerry's not going to be here for a while, so do you think Max could maybe come just sit in and be a co-host as well? At some Anytime. Point? <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> sure would love that. There's your replacement, Jerry, right there. Look out. Well, thank you very much, and very uh, and my gosh, you are one special one sweetheart. Puppy. You are it's so so sweet, <laughs> and he's just a normal dog, right? That he is. He just loves it. Hundred percent poodle. He totally okay. Carl Gordon and Super Dogs Max. Thank
Thank you. Thanks for having me. And one day we'll have Max and Ruby come back together. Stay tuned because you never know where Max may show up during our show. Oh, ho, ho, you're in for a treat. We'll be right back.